the bartender, give me a drink. I want a cold black glass with bubbles in it. And that doesn't mean I can handle anything stronger now. Just think how we do it. It's a bum, that's not like you. No, no, don't start with all that girly talky crap. No, we need to get home and enjoy my... my penis to resist on. The only thing your penis has ever resisted was a wash. <laughs> I've been offered a job, Johnny. A job? Oh, brilliant. It means I don't have to get one, I can bond with a baby. <laughs> my God, where is he? Johnny, that's him. Is it? <laughs> Didn't he used to have a moustache? <laughs> Look, the problem is, the job's on a cruise ship, Speedy Cruise, for three months. I mean, how can I... Oh, this is such a hard-running decision. Should I stay? Should I go? And I'd have to leave you all. Leave you, I would. <laughs> Janet, this is a big decision. Biggest of your life, and... Can I just say that nobody's really asked? <laughs> and my baby, he's so helpless. And Johnny, he's so feckless, and... Oh, God! What do you think, John? I'll be upstairs killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. Yeah, I understand it's fine. I mean... No, no, it's fine, honest. All right. Oh, well, I'll see you later. All right, see you, mate. Bye-bye. That man is a bastard! I'm going to kick a pig's down here, I'm telling you! Oh, After a little sulk... <laughs> Did the news agent run out of Felch magazine? <laughs> it's stupid. The biggest seller. <laughs> Why do we live in Runcorn's gay quarter? Runcorn doesn't have a gay quarter. Who's that effeminate fellow who follows me wherever I go trying to get me to have a drink with him? That's Johnny. <laughs> now come on, what's up? <sighs> Donna, I'm not good enough for you. Well, duh. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's retiring. He's selling the garage. I'm out of a job. What? <sighs> 80 grand he wants for it. 80 grand? Bloody hell, you could buy a small meadow for that. <laughs> a small meadow with, with oats and barley and, and perhaps a corner given to raspberries and strawberries. And, and maybe you could get a pony. Well, you certainly need a plough. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just really want a meadow. What am I going to do? Well, isn't there any way you could... No. Well, maybe you could... No. Well, couldn't you just... No. Then we've explored every option. <laughs> You're unemployed, Gas. What are we going to do? Well, maybe you could. No. I didn't know what I was going to say. Yes, I did, and it was disgusting. <laughs> Johnny, will you please not try to kill yourself? It's so annoying. I don't care. My life is finished if you leave. Ever since we were kids, it's been me and you. We've never spent more than a few days apart. Except when I got stuck in that hole. Uh, we said we'd never mention Kate again. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm glad you ask. I'm cutting up our wedding photos because you're leaving me. Oh. Johnny, they are our wedding day photos, our precious memories. Uh, hold on. Some of these aren't even of our wedding. Oh, no, I know. We only had a couple, so I just went through hello and decided who shouldn't be together anymore. <laughs> It's Splitsville for the King of Cyprus and his lovely bride. Well, babe, you can cope. We've been through worse, and this really is my big break. I mean, the cruise ship. Speedy cruise. <laughs> Imagine where that could lead. In two years' time, they could be calling me Janet of the High Seas. Because I can hit that note. <laughs> I agree, that is stunning, but I cannot allow this. You're my wife, you have to stay with me. A marriage is about being together forever against all obstacles. Yeah, and Johnny, we will be, but... Please, I've really got to do this. He's calling me. Listen. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Then I'm bringing out the big guns. I'm playing the You Shagged Gaz card. Oh, no, Johnny, anything but that. Yep. Yeah. We agreed I could use it once and once only to get something I really, really wanted. And I'm using it now. <laughs> Janet, you may not go on that ship because you once let Gaz hurl his load up you. <laughs> This is the 
one time you're ever going to bring it up. That's really how much you care. Yes. Although now I am regretting not using it for that llama I had my eye on. <laughs> Fine. Fine, I'll stay. Really? Well, that was easy. I'm such a good husband. <laughs> it was my dream, Johnny, to sing on a Speedy Cruise cruise liner. Mm. I suppose I've made my bed. Oh, now. brilliant. I'm going for a kick. <laughs> I beg your pardon. It's one hundred... It's one hundred thousand pounds, can you believe it? So, I'm rich. I'm rich! <laughs> but you're poor, so... I'm sorry, I have no wine guns. I'm rich. I'm fairly rich, I told you! That will go on and on... and on... And on a little bit longer. <laughs> Don't want to finish the song because you're looking at me weird. OK, OK, stop. You have a beautiful voice. Just like me. <laughs> We're the Chipmunks. <laughs> Alvin, Simon, Theodore. <laughs> now, I do have talent. I just need an outlet for it. Oh, it's my dream and... Mum. <laughs> Did you just hear that? What? Corinthian just said... <laughs> Though I think what he was trying to say was, My heart will go on and on. Oh, you are so talented. Yes. Oh, come on, try this. <laughs> Do me for bloody boo boo. <laughs> Janet, I find it admirable that you're making inept noises at your child like some form of cave dwelling reptile. <laughs> Can you help me think of something to stick in this get well card to my mum? Oh, is she poorly? Yeah, she's in hospital dying. <laughs> what? Kilroy or Kiora or kidney failure, something <laughs> medical. Anyway, very dull. Louise, kidney failure? Look, you've got to go to her. She needs a family round her. <sighs> That's what everyone says, but I, I just think cards say more. Look, on the front, a train. <laughs> on the inside, sorry for your news. <laughs> What more could I possibly say in person? <laughs> Look, Louise, if I was poorly, the person I would most want to be near me would be musical genius Corinthian. <laughs> really? Yes, absolutely, Louise. Oh, didn't realise parents actually love their children. <laughs> oh, we do. Read me for so <laughs> 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 No, 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 don't drink and die, old girls, don't drink and die. <laughs> no, actually, yeah, I will go. Dad, you're a bastard. <laughs> oh, are you, Grant? <laughs> yeah, no, I, no, I didn't actually mean he was a bastard. <laughs> oh, he is. <laughs> hey, no, but, no, it was a different world back then, you know, with the Blitz and all that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't worry yourself. All right, love to Pops. Hi. Guess, guess, guess what? The money came through from selling my mum's house. All the money, right? It came through, and it's so... Well, you know, it's sad, because she's dead and all. <laughs> but it's so cruel! Like, all that money, right? And what I was thinking was... <laughs> what? And then when I finished thinking that, I thought, this is the end to all our problems. What do you mean? And you don't have to worry about being unemployed anymore, cos you, you can be my monkey. Yeah, yeah. Dance, monkey boy, dance! What are you talking about? I said dance! <laughs> this is brilliant! You're gonna buy the garage! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, guys, I'm gonna buy a mobile library. <laughs> Women in the bloody wind. I want a career, I want a baby, I want a mobile library. <laughs> All the same. What? Look, look, yes, this is perfect. I get my brilliant career as bucket executive and I get to employ you in the Donable Library. <laughs> the what? <laughs> The Donable Library. <laughs> it's catchy, isn't it? I came up with it all by myself and I didn't need out from marketing or nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant, that, yeah. But I don't want to run a mobile library, I'm not... You're not what? You have no job, you've got no means of supporting yourself, and I have power, power tells you. <laughs> but I don't want to run... And, Gaz, and, didn't you sleep with my best friend once, even though we promised never to mention it again? 
<laughs> yep. You can stop the nostalgic smiling. Okay. So, won't you, Gaz Wilkinson, be a grateful little bunny and come and work for me in the Donable Library? I thought I was a monkey, not a bunny. D dance, monkey bunny, dance! <laughs> come on! Yeah. You can stop now, it's just embarrassing. <laughs> God, it's slack in here. Yeah, business does seem a little quiet. I wasn't talking about the pub. <laughs> hey, I'm a prime example of modern-day manhood, me. Yeah, Janet wanted to take this stupid singing job on a cruise ship. Well, I clipped them wings proper style and stamped on her in a pigeon. <laughs> See, that's what Donna's doing to me. I'm all by a library, but it's so iniquitous. <laughs> what? See, he's starting already. The books are coming. The big words are after me. And it's... it's vexatious. It's rebarbative, even. <laughs> No. My dad clipped my mum's wings. Oh, God, I love the institution of marriage. Yeah, when I first got wed, she wanted a job at the laundrette. She wanted to better herself, you know. She'd seen EastEnders and seen the glamorous lives those women lead there. <laughs> yeah, that blonde piece is fit. <laughs> if I was Martin Fowler, I'd relish the day I came shooting out of that birth canal. <laughs> so my dad's doctor, for the good of the family. Oh, quite right, too. So she's a housewife, then? No, she's a prostitute. <laughs> A role model for many young business women. And she can make up to and over four pounds a night if she has enough clients. What? A prosy? Johnny! <laughs> so fractious. Oh, fractious! Naughty Bubba! <laughs> come on! Oh, please, come on, the NBA musical genius. Um, maybe I should try a bit of Mozart. Fine, I know no Mozart. <laughs> oh, come on, please, out with it. I can tell you're going to sing something. <laughs> <laughs> Was that an aria? I thought it was a composition. Oh, you are a genius. <laughs> oh, Louise, get what interested. Yeah. Thank you very much, Janet. OK. Yep, thanks a big bunch. My pleasure. Yep, thank you a bucket load. If you're being genuine, I'm sorry, but it's coming across a little bit sarcastic. <laughs> I went to visit the mother in hospital. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it upsetting? I thought it might be. Are you OK? Well, first off, she didn't eat the grapes I bought her. <laughs> Said they were made of wax, whatever that means. <laughs> I went all the way to IKEA for those ungrateful cow. <laughs> oh, I think you're just covering up the pain of seeing your mum being ill. Oh, God, no, that was fine. <laughs> what she said to me about a disease. Oh, please, is it not good news? No, it's not. Oh, is she. Yes, yeah, she is. Asking for my help. <laughs> oh. well, maybe you should help her. She said it's the only thing that'll save her. Complete emotional blackmail, if you ask me. <laughs> Louise, she's a mother. She'd never use emotional blackmail. And you are going to sing, aren't you, Corinthian? <laughs> sing. Sing, or mommy won't love you! <laughs> oh, God, what have I done? What have I become? I suppose, I mean, she did give birth to me. Least I can do is give her my kidney. She needs your kidney. Oh, Louise, that's terrible. A kidney? Oh, God, imagine. I'm going to be scarred. The incision is this big. <laughs> well, that's like an inch. I know. I might as well be that elephant man. <laughs> you know, bar bar. <laughs> Look, Lou, it's just one of the things you have to do to be a family. We all have to sacrifice something to live a good life. You, a kidney. Me, my hopes, my dreams and my elasticity. <laughs> Still can't crack a walnut. I'll go back to the hospital, see if I'm a match. My magnanimity knows no bounds. Yeah, I bet yours can still crack a walnut. Janet, you are not going to be a cheap hooker. You're not, you're not, you're not. You are not. <laughs> you can't treat me like this. It's egregious. <laughs> what? I'm not a gunnable librarian. No, I'm a mechanic, a skilled mechanic. I can fix nearly anything you throw at me. Please don't throw anything at me. I have loads and loads of money, and money brings power. Listen, listen. ka -ching. Now dance, monkey boy, dance! <laughs> no! I'm a mechanic. I'm a bloody good one, too, and I like it. No, but you like working in the Donnable Library even better. No, I 
I wouldn't, not in a million years. When was the last time you saw me with a book? Well, you picked up Harry Potter last week. That's only because Hermione's become legal. <laughs> it's Charlotte Church all over again. <laughs> oh, please, don't... Don't make me work with books, please. Really? Really, please. Um, do you know, I'd, I'd rather be unemployed. I'd rather be a waster. I'd rather be Johnny. <laughs> Jesus, that is bad. <laughs> well, I had no idea you felt like that. Yeah, what I do? What? Okay, I'll do it, Gaz. I'll buy the garage. Oh. Yeah. Or a meadow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll buy the garage. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a prostitute, don't be a prostitute, don't be a prostitute. I swear to God, Johnny, this had better not be reverse psychology. <laughs> it's not. Although I would utterly hate an egg butty roundabout now. <laughs> don't be a prostitute. OK. I'm going to let you spread your wings, Janet, so you don't have to spread your legs. <laughs> you may take the job on the cruise ship. What? Well, I don't want to be the one to crush your dreams, so you may take the singing job. Oh, I may. May I? <laughs> may, is it? I may take this job on the liner. I can go and follow my dreams because Johnny said I may. Yes, you may. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> ha! Have a Corinthian, you talentless has been. <laughs> <laughs> on one condition. Anything, I will do anything. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get doped up on lemons to avoid scurvy. I I'm gonna I'm gonna watch Captain Pugwash to acclimatise. And, and look, I've already got my sea legs. Watch, watch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel a bit sick. <laughs> Johnny, really, you'll come with. Oh, it's gonna be brilliant. <laughs> They've got crash facilities for Corinthian, and you will make a really great cabin boy. <laughs> a galley slave? <laughs> A pirate. You know me so well. Or <laughs> Jim Lad. Oh. Land over there. Arr. And once again, what? I'm being a pirate. It's my new job. But you do know piracy isn't actually a job, Johnny. <laughs> That's right. It's a calling. Arr. No, I mean, Janet's the one with the real job. She's the one running your life and having all the money under control. Arr. You know, I don't know how I'm going to cope with Donald in the garage. I don't. What you have to do with women is let them think that they're in charge. Right. right. So you do whatever they say for a bit, and then, when they're lulled into a false sense of security, yeah. curl up into a ball and cry like a child. <laughs> That's not good. I feel like, like castrated, you know, not in a good way. <laughs> Just do as I say, guys. I'm telling you, it works. Johnny, you're the bar attendant from last week's tab. Fine, <laughs> <laughs> but you can have until Friday. Mm. No, if you didn't have mental health issues, I swear I'd not stand for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lou, how did it go to the hospital? Oh, you know, awful for me. Oh, you. In more interesting news, I'm so excited! <laughs> and so's Corinthian and so's Johnny. Janice of the high seas. Ah! <laughs> I'll get the results back later today. Then I'll find out whether they're going to take my cool, cool kidney and shove it in a big fat back. <laughs> Aw, let me daft. It's a good thing you're doing. And I'll never bag a surgeon now. Who's going to want to marry a woman you've already been inside with a pair of calipers? <laughs> you don't married me. <laughs> I don't even want to go back to the hospital. It's only my benevolent nature that's making me. Jesus, will you two shut up? I'm trying to buy a garage here. Oh, I'm really going to miss you, my dear, dear angry bitch. <laughs> and you, my beloved squeaky little twat bag. <laughs> Come on, group hug. Oh, she's so far away. Yeah, no. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? <laughs> Almost, just one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha. Is that Corinthians? No, it's Johnny's. <laughs> I'm going to see the world. I'm going to have a girl in every port. I'm going to eat so many winkles and be so popular, I'll have semen coming out of my ears. <laughs> Is he joking? No, the crew are allowed to masturbate in your ears, apparently. Excuse me, where's his passport? Who? The baby, madam. Oh, he doesn't have one. He's only yay big. Yeah, we were going to stick him in the old. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, without a passport, he can't get on the ship. It's OK. I'll stay with our child. I'll stay with Corinthian. 
You follow your dream. OK, cool. Bye. <laughs> yes, you fly, my darling. You reach the highest mountain. You touch the brightest... OK, bye! <laughs> Stop. I know. I know, Dahlia. She really is the perfect woman. <laughs> I love doing that Miss Congeniality, me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Donna's not so bad either, is she? Yeah. All right, Donna, well, I'll see you in a bit. OK, bye-bye. God, I hate that bastard! <laughs> right, you, on your knees and polish my trotters. Yes, dear, and may I say, you have all the power and you're in complete control of our relationship. Oh, I know. <laughs> Look at you, eh? Employee. Colleague. Staff. Co-worker. Hired help. Partner. Slave. <laughs> Johnny said that. My dad's monkey boy dance. What? Fuck it, work it, yeah. Oh my god! Has? What's the matter? <laughs> Have I gone too far? I've emasculated you, but I'm sorry. Don't cry. I'll, I'll do anything. <laughs> anything? Yeah, even that, I'll get the shackles. <laughs> Master of killing. <laughs> Janet Kehoe, light up my life and damp on my tissue. How the devil are you? Mwah, mwah. Tommy, oh, it's so good to see a friendly face. I'm so nervous. No need. No need at all to be nervous. You've got Tommy looking after you now, girl. <laughs> As I said to Fiona Phillips only the other day... You know Fiona Phillips? When I get sad, I talk to me telly. <laughs> now, you'll be wanting to see your costume? Oh, I get a costume! Oh, this is just like the X Factor. Only I get a costume. Here you go. Gorgeous! Ooh. Is it a ball gown? <laughs> is it a cocktail dress? Is it... <laughs> Obviously, once you've started the performance, you'll be taking it off. <laughs> Will you be needing a wax? Juan from housekeeping is amazing. <laughs> I'm entirely silken from here to here. And then he asked if I needed a wax. I mean, when have you ever known me to have a wax? Never. King, so we're never going to have any money. And I love money. Uh, excuse me. I have a thriving small holding with a number of potential investors. Are you talking about your ant farm? Obviously. <laughs> but Janet, we'll manage. We always do. It's not like we're a young, jobless couple with no qualifications, no prospects and a young baby to look after. <laughs> That's exactly what we are. <laughs> oh, no. We're doomed, Janet. Doomed! Oh. <laughs> Help me. Hello, how did it go? You OK? No, no, I'm really not. I went back to the hospital to see what they said about being a donor. Oh? I'm not compatible. Oh, well, isn't that good? For you, I mean, not for your mum. She faces certain death. <laughs> mum said, mum told me, I'm adopted. Like an orphan. Well, not like an orphan, cos they're not necessarily adopted. Rather like an adoptee. <laughs> <laughs>